Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Traders Frontiers. I'm your host, Carlos Fade. It's episode 18. The Crimson Pox is still going on, and there are first infections right here that we can actually go help out. And that's right here at this place. Alta Mesa Prime. So, if we sell some goods here, we've got units. Let's sell... 10 at a time and see what that our delivery of medical celebrates yeah it's celebrated but it did and does it give us it's, yeah we have to actually move the pox don't we we have to actually cause it to uh, change the score so we have to hope 10 at a time our delivery has broken the outbreak and now it says it's advanced the score by 10 to 88 of 100 so oh my gosh we're, we're getting very close okay to being done does this person have any good missions that are really short four jumps 10 jumps 12 jumps yikes oh and that one's a long way away six jumps in hyperion loop okay hmm hunting strains we have a couple more missions that's two jumps to alpha red swath is the problem and that one's to kadrino chaos and then back here to le ecume pass it's five jumps away we have a couple of missions here if we look at current missions expedition astray chasing doctor right here so this one is two jumps to the desava arm so we'll try to do those. We're going to try to go to this next first infections, which is two jumps away at the Borodino gate in the, uh, ooh, in the infinite helix quadrant. Really? Okay. All the rest of them are full crimson pox outbreaks. So yikes. All right. Well, let's navigate there, but along the way, Let's go here. I want to see if we can buy some more medical goods before we go there. Can we buy any here? There's basic medicines right there. Please, we'll take all of those. Cha-ching. Excellent. Okay, that helps. Onward. It has been a hot minute since I played this game, folks. Uh, ooh. Ooh, 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 what do we have here? It's independent, and I may be able to uh, sell them some stuff. Pay a bribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have cargo, we have Terox Xeno artifacts. We need to get rid of those and make more room for, guess what? Medical supplies. It's tradeway zone, and no permit required. We can sell. Great, we can get rid of those go back to buying cargo they have basic medicines we'll just top off our tank there tank top off our cargo hold maybe we can get the crimson pox done this episode maybe a pirate i did get one pretty cool ask from a commenter who said, can you do one of these episodes without anything that needs an unlock? And the answer to that is, yes, I actually can. Okay, sell these 10 units. Now what? Crushed infections. This is the part is I wish I could stack these. Mm, that's too bad. Okay. Wish they counted to the same because you can really only sell them 10 at a time. So if we sell these, there's 29. Really, you got to sell like 15 and 14 because you can't get 10, 10, and 10. Okay. So, Clan Mock, who we're already super friendly with. So let's do 16 here. That can get us to an even 10 from there on out. Our delivery has broken the outbreak, and now our plague score is 98 of 100. <laughs> All right, buy cargo, biomass, I don't think so. Okay, where's the next ones? Do we have any more 
infections. Xenofleet. Crimson Park, they're all outbreaks. Okay, let's go do that next mission in the closest one we have. Let's do it by, let's see. Chase and Doctor, that one's two jumps away. And the Desava arm. That might, if we get faction, or if it, we can adjust the Crimson Pot score per leg of this journey, then it could work. Because you saw there was like four legs of it. You're going to get paid a little bit each time. This is problematic. Oh, can we make an emergency jump? Yep. Took 550 component damage. The crew suffered a little bit, but we're really close to there. So we'll get that ship out of the way. Losing morale, yes, I know. Nobody will leave, will they? Good. Pay the crew, heal the crew members, repair. Spice leave, we'll make sure everybody's happy. Buy some cargo. Do you have advanced medicines? Okay. Um, I'll take 20 units. And you have basic medicines. I will take 10 units. Keep the numbers even. In case there are first infections somewhere along the way. Retreat. Bribe them. So after the Crimson Pox outbreak, all we should really have left to do is the... I think the only main story arc is the Jaida sighting ones after this. Expedition Astray. Ooh, Xeno Combat. Let's reroll now. Hope we don't get a worse one. Hmm. Xeno combat. Out of here. Refills the fuel tanks. We like that card. Mission success card. That'd be great. We take that. Successfully passed in electronics, but wisdom. See Xeno artifacts and then fighting. Hmm. And on worlds. It's always going to be more difficult. Okay. Well then, my friend. I need my Xeno Hunter. Exoscout Xeno Hunter. Alright, folks. Here we go. Always the hard combat. Let's go. What do I want to do here? Yeah, start buffing. And start buffing again. Uh -oh. Mikey doesn't like that. Let's see. What is this one? Oh, grenade launch, right. Yeah, let's keep buffing everybody first. Though. Every little bit counts. Uh, this has got what? This? Yeah, we'll do that. She needs to move forward. I haven't played this in so long. I've forgotten what my abilities are here. Which one is this? The one that advances in its rush of courage, right? Okay. The first turn with the Xenos is always just buff, 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 basically. She's going to do... Oh, she needed to do knife work while he was close by. That was the mistake. Okay. She can't do knife work because it's, uh, yeah, that's our way to get rid of his problem, but darn. Okay. Oh, we got 11 points here. What can we do? This advances one slot and hits people for minus two initiative. That can stun. That's two times weapon for 16. She won't go into the penalty list to that. Okay. He's going to do this is plus 50 to resist debuffs, but that doesn't remove. Removes all debuffs and heals. And this one does. Removes all debuffs and restores morale too. Okay. Well then, 
Oh, and this is a buff for him. But hold on. Does any of these... Remove initiative from the enemy? That's a buff. This does causes minus four initiative and bleeding. Okay, let's hit one of these guys then. Hit him. So he doesn't get a go this turn. Which is exactly what he He's in the penalty, which is great. Two of them are in the penalty. That's fantastic. Alrighty then. Hmm. I can remove buffs from the target, or I can just hit this. I'm trying to think of what I want to do, or I can do this. So I can counterattack. Okay, let's try this. He really needs to get buffs on. This is a self buff, but it doesn't shoot. And this is a shooting buff. Okay, darling, it's your turn to do something really snazzy. This one moves her back, doesn't it? Yep, retreats one slot. We don't want to do that. So, let's get her on this. So she can counterattack. Everybody's healthy. And this is what? Flatline restores morale, right? That's all it does. So, minus two initiative. Hit him with it. Very nice, darling. Big slice up there. Unfortunately, she loses that buff, so we'll give it back to her. Kill that guy. Hmm, what do we want to do here? Crippling rifle attack, minus 40 armor, minus 40 plaz resist, minus 25 deflection, or we can just try to burn him out with bio poison. Let's see. She's gonna do this and try to get even more buff than she already is. That kills it. That's great. So do this. Nobody's penalized. And look, two full rows of buffs, man. That's what I'm talking about. Stun this fool. No, he resisted it. Just gonna stab him again. Stun this fool. Kill him. Hey, that wasn't too bad then. So. That's what I talk about way back in the earlier episodes, too, is that um, you should spend the first turn buffing against Xenos. It significantly improves your odds <laughs> of being able to take them down. Hmm. What next? Oh, there we go. Mission success. We successfully completed our task of exploring the surface. Our payment is due at a later date and time, so don't get paid during this. And our reputation gain is two, and it didn't change the... Oh, so what is this? So we have to keep going. Okay. Pirates, pirates, pirates. Oh, we'll take that. Our search has yielded results. Okay. Payment is due to us at a later time, but it doesn't change the, uh, <clears throat> when we get the Terra Zedorox, okay. That's a shame that it doesn't change the score. So, since it doesn't change the score, we're going to keep an eye on first infections. We don't see any. So the next one, Expedition Astray, Unforgiving News. Okay, let's go. Let Akume pass. Chase and Doctor, so hopefully when we turn this in, it bumps the score. And that'd be great. That would be fantastic. And then we could sell all of those medical supplies and... Uh-oh. Failed pilot test. That's too bad. Well, at least we're going to land on the planet with the Chase and Doctor, so you guys should be happier here in a minute. Okay, the crew. I'm making sure I'm looking over to make sure nobody left the crew. 
Repair one item. Spice girls make everybody happy. Meeting over a spice plate. Let's do that. We have been paid. The service talent increased our reputation gain by two. The plague score has advanced by six to one of four of a hundred. We completed our mission. That should be it. Yes, we did it. All right. Citizens of Ryline and Devaltos, galactic citizens. Today, a ray of hope breaks through the storm clouds that have hung over us. Once again, the Order of the Chasing Doctors have delivered our people from this plague. The rule of the Crimson Pox has been broken. Thanks to the work of the talented Dr. Kara Goldburn and her entire Chasing Order, and the dedicated Star Trader captains who support their galactic efforts. The United Coalition is overseeing the distribution of the Cure's formula to every quadrant. It is something for all of our people. Together we must bury our dead and put them behind us. Together we must rise up and look forward once again. The United Coalition stole most of the fanfare, though it had been the doctors who risked, who risked or gave their lives for the Cure, and us, the captains and the crew. But the factions and the people have not forgotten. My charter was listed among the contributing star traders in the Chasen Manifest, and in the end, what matters is that the plague era is ending. For the moment, it seems like the promise of better times and some time to heal wounds left by the MX-11. We have gained a major reputation boost with every faction, even those who considered us an enemy. Ooh, 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 nice. Excellent, then. Okay, so... The crowning orchestrated shortage offer thing um we could do that hunting strains i don't here's what i want to do with that action cancel mission it was all it was all for the purpose of the other thing so hunting strains action cancel mission pox is cured we don't need to do this Ex-Naval Commander Felix, the Slayer Nazi, has confided his secrets in hopes that we will pull the thread left behind by his dead spy, Kilk, possibly leading back to the Kedar Fleet Commander. Alright, so, Fractured Faction. Last words. As Felix is warned, oh, so this is for Felix, and it is right here. Dark Cluster, six away. I'm not going to worry about this, I don't think. So, one of the things... Oh. Smuggler, well, we have to fight you, smuggler. Uh, let's flash charge him. Let's flash charge him and go do that. He's an indie, we have to go for him. <laughs> Torch him, Torchy. Yeah, so someone in the comments of one of the early episodes says, isn't it better to, if you want to cook the crew, to use plasma weapon? And the answer to that question is yes, except for one thing. The plasma weaponry only works in slots four, three, and two. It doesn't work in slot one. You can't fire it from there. And frequently what happens when you start to cook the crew is the enemy will try to close to range number one. And that's where, and that's when, of course, you're doing your boardings anyway. You're like shooting and boarding. So you're cooking and boarding and cooking and boarding and, and finishing off a ship that way. Since it doesn't fire from slot number one, you're really forced to try to stay at range three and two and cook them and then go board. Um, and I'm just not a fan of that little extra layer of micromanagement. So that's why I don't do that. Um, it, it's a viable approach, obviously. And if you want to do it that way, absolutely do it that way. Um, I do it this way. So I've played the game so many times and done it a number of different ways. Um, that... You know, this is just what I've gotten comfortable with doing. I think the first time I played through the game, I didn't really even understand what the advantage of different weapons might be. And then, and I didn't fire that time like a dummy. And then the second time I played through it, I figured out how powerful the grab cannon was. So I went through and, and I used the grab cannon. And I basically just blew everything up 
which was a lot of fun, but I didn't understand that in blowing everything up, you lose your ability to salvage uh, and, and to get the intelligence from the talent that we have. So we're going to fight people. So let's go up here and get our sniper. So there's just little things that you learn along the way. And so you kind of, the cool thing about the game is you can find a play style that fits you. And that's, that's the important thing. The, it, the game is really flexible that way. And that there's a bunch of different ways to go about it. Wow, that was powerful. Well, why don't you shoot somebody? Take her out. Doc. You want to shoot somebody? Oh, really? Doc, you want to shoot somebody again? And, okay, so the lance. You can get rid of the lance after successful rewarding bio agent, morale, and crew damage. That's what I want to do that time. And then let's panic the enemy crew. And then we're not going to shoot at him anymore and we're just going to board. Okay. All we really need to do is make sure we have some defense in case for some reason they manage to go Mal Reynolds on us and mount a gun to the top and shoot us. I, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the movie Serenity. And just obviously Firefly was great. It was only one season. But to me, the film really shines. I love the film so much. I watched I watched Firefly after I'd seen Serenity. I didn't I, for some for some strange reason I had missed it um, when it was on network television, when it was on Fox, when Firefly was. And I just I love that movie, Serenity, the way it's put together, all of it. It's just so cool. Okay, the captain's done, so we don't have to do any of this stuff. You can see that I'm not playing as fast as I did in the previous videos because I just haven't played the game in a long time. I recorded like 16 episodes in a row over a weekend and then scheduled them all to be released on YouTube and then was like, okay, now I have a bunch of other things to do and, and it takes me a while to come back to the game. What do they have for cargo? Power generators and weapon needs. These are, these are nice, but I'm not going to... That's... I'm not going to do that. Um, let's see. Loyalty rousing, medical ward, rough interrogation, battle damage repair. Do we loot armory? We don't have to do that. So let's just, I'm gonna leave that cargo. Otherwise I have to go, well, how much room do we have in our cargo hold? Sure, loot them, what the heck? But you gotta go find a independent world to sell it on. So orchestrated salvage gives us 36K. Alright, then we'll leave. We gotta go find an indie world to drop that off on. So what's our rumors look like now? Crimson Pox Outbreak. So we could do, um, we could sell medical stuff here since there's still an outbreak. We could just sell all of this advanced medicines would be great. Sell those basic medicines, sell those. Yeah. We don't need to have those anymore. Okay. So Felix, we're doing a mission for Felix. Yeah. Okay, Felix, let's go do that for you. And we'll have to take a look at how big of a jump it was for us in faction terms. Yeah, so there's an independent world here. This is one we just stopped at that has no restrictions. So can we just sell a bunch of stuff here? We can. Oh, and for really good prices too. I mean, a B grade and a B minus grade. Yeah, we just sell all that stuff. It's just 1.1 million. Nice. So when the t when the Jaida Zenos show up. What we'll do is change our ship a little bit. You can see our ship is configured with this luxury suites. And what we'll do is change that to a grab cannon. Be very nice. 
and I'm not even sure we have a need for it right now. Cargo hold, intel records, mission cargo. Yeah, okay. We can change that anytime we want to. Which would be a smart thing to do. And the only reason to hang on to what we have right now is just in the event that we run across a mission where we're going to need that person, we're going to need that, need that slot. So he is an exoscout and a soldier. Yeah, so exoscout 11, I think he gets something pretty cool and then poke the rest of the points into there. He gets a talent. Okay. What's he get? Pat, electronic test. Don't care about that. Pass, passing the spice hall. You can get a new rumor. Blockading the system, re-roll risk card. Salvaging patrolling. We got a bunch of those. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him this because we need some rumors. So one of the things I wanted to do, hopefully before this whole series ends, is I want to go hire recruits. And I want to make sure that I have talents for recruiting because somebody showed me the stats for one of their recruits. And it was off the chart. It was awesome. Now, I've never had any luck being able to recruit and get those kinds of stats. But somebody did it. And you know me. I got to try it out. So I will try it again. And what I'd like to do is try to recruit somebody like... I'd try to recruit a soldier or a swordsman and see if we can get super, super... Um, super high stats for them so where are we going here the fifth divide oh yeah and let's see what our reputation is like so Makumune 543 House Thulin 254 House Zenrin 213 Clan Ultimesa 151 Clan Java 144 Syndicate 75 Steel Song 6066 the Valtos 59. I mean, that's awesome. Kadar's the only thing. We're neutral with them. And the Hunter collected every minus. So look, we're positive with everybody. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Do you want to go? So taking part in the whole chase and doctor thing is really good for us. If <laughs> we're going to be traitors. Uh, yeah, let's flash charge you. Let's go defensive. You guys are going to advance on us because you're pirates. So let's advance on you again and give you some bacon. Some cooking the bacon. Oh, smell that bacon. Frying sizzling in the pan. Range two. Let's just fire on you with all the goodies. He's got the, I've started the game with this ship before. That's one of the many ships that I've started the game with. So at some point in time, uh, it would be fun to do a playthrough where that's what you're doing is choosing one of the easy start and and maybe that's the thing to do maybe i'll do that on my patreon is open up to the question of if i'm going to do a playthrough with one of the default ships that you don't have to unlock which one would you like to see me do it with uh, good odds that i'll struggle but that would be a fun thing to do i've started it with this ship over here I've, the Dragoon ship. I've started it with the Fidelis Cutter. I've started it with the Paladin Cruiser. That was the very first ship I ever used. Let's see what's he got. 35 shield. Okay. It's going to be about time to move forward here on him pretty soon. Maybe one more round we should go and start boarding. Let's see, he's trying to close. We're fortunate we can sit here at range 2. As soon as that wears off, this pink one, the extra cooking. Well, even if it doesn't wear off, we need to move forward where we've pulled him down quite a bit. He doesn't have much left. Yeah, there we go. 
Let's go like this. Hmm. What do I want to do? Oh, let's broadside him. Oh, I probably didn't want to do that. I'm worried I'm going to destroy him too much. That was a 240. That was a big jump. I should have boarded right there. He's got a flaring engine. What does he have left? 360 of 200 and... 2,350 hull. I don't think we should be shooting him anymore, so... Let's just board him. Let's board him and see what his people think about getting shot at. This is your new captain speaking. Oh man, when you can one-shot somebody. 136. That's brilliant. When you can one-shot somebody, it's just fantastic. Doc? You wanna shoot that guy? Stabby, stabby. That's a double poker. Okay. Yeah, morale for damage. Let's do that. How you guys feeling? You wanna do another round? It's gonna keep shooting at me, which is why I'm gonna keep some defense up. I don't need to be getting hit. Taking losses. Oh look, you brought a sniper with you. Doc? Hmm. Let me do this. Yeah. Get theirs. So they can't hurt us. That makes things easier. Done. Okay, darn. Oh, stabby, stabby. that and then uh, for successful boarding yeah damage crew sometimes you can get the captain on that one straight from the gunfire like that oh my goodness the smell in my house right now I, I uh, carved up a big old chunk of beef this morning for a beef stew in the crock pot now it's getting late in the day and it's just smells fantastic. Fine. Out you go. Let's do you. She's just gonna stab you and almost finish you. We got three left. Hmm, what's this one? This causes 12. What is this to you? 16 total. Hmm. That moves you back a slot, and I don't want to do that. So let's just do this. Just the straight up swing away. Now you can do this one. Oh, yeah. Dead man. The void engine, it's done. Get the void engine, it's over. That's always wonderful. Okay, fuel, loot the pirate cargo. We'll claim all of that and drop it off somewhere. Loyalty rousing, medical ward, rough interrogation, battle damage repair. Only one of those is need. Destroyed, orchestrated salvage. There's so much to do after one of those. It's so fun when you have all those talents. Give you a chance to Make the most of the situation. Can I sell any cargo here? I can, oh, for low... Wait, you know what? It's free cargo. So let's go like this and sell all. Because <laughs> it's free. It's free cash. It's just paying for our fuel, basically. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we're doing for Felix. I will find the way, he says. We're spying. Hostile pirate. 
remove a risk card or replace it with a credit skin. There we go. Mm, near death among the crew. We do have a lifesaver talent though, but that's it. Now we don't. <laughs> now we do not. Varied results. It was a pirate trap. Well. I can surrender loot again as I don't have any loot. There's nothing to loot. Doing this in an empty stomach. Always good. Give me these intel records over here. I'll take that. Oh, unexpected ship. Retreat. Everybody likes us. We're friendly. I, I don't think I've ever paid attention to exactly how much reputation you got from the Crimson Pock thing. So that was really significant. Surprising how big of a score that jump jump that was. That was awesome. The exact comms, relays, and military channels being used to send this information go a long way to confirm Felix's suspicions. Whoever is arranging the sale is using relays that would only be available to someone in powerful position in the Kadar Navy. Whatever secrets they are offering, Steel Song will net many millions of credits. We hung in orbit long enough to pick up a few messages that Felix's codes could crack. It's a bit noisier here than on the Kadar side exactly do we have to take back to Felix? We have a report that classifies Kiwik as an agent gone rogue and confirms that Kadar assassins were sent to take her out. They have also dispatched a bounty hunter after the Star Traders who delivered over her final message to Felix. It may only be a matter of time before they found out that he received something from her. All of this is flowing through regular encrypted channels. They're keeping that part in the open. Secretly, it seems like they are hammering out a date for some kind of exchange in neutral space. Felix will be able to pull more details from these communications than we can here in the Void. We need to get back to him and warn him about the bounty hunter and confirm his suspicions. Alright, well, let's... Felix, how you feeling, buddy? Alright, so somebody leveled up. A gunner. Hmm, what do we want to use here? Patrolling the system, remove a risk card. That's always, how many meteor swarms do we have? One? Oh, let's make sure we have two of those talents. Those are where I can turn things ugly really fast. Okay, so Felix, last words, four jumps. Well, onward, Felix, my man. Heavy patrols, Kimson Pox outbreaks are leaving as we, as the galaxy gets the cure passed along. Fifth divide. All right, last words. Stern arrangement, saving talent, quiet meeting. Captain, join me for my daily meditation. You came at a good time, Captain. Things have cooled here a bit with my entourage. Tell me everything. And we spill the story. Then our time is short. If Fleet Commander Trace was willing to snuff out Kiwik and kick me unceremoniously from my post, she won't hesitate to permanently remove me if she learns what we're on to. If it's Trace. You don't see it here in the messages, but it is all very clear to me. It is Trace, and she is going to sell Kadar's new tri arc lance weapon platform to the Steel Song. But how could anyone with Kadar blood? The tri arc? It is the crowning achievement of three decades of work by the sharpest minds in Kadar military science. Rumors in the military backbone are that it is only a matter of time before it goes into production. Many things are, Felix. All things are, Captain. So what are they planning? Looks like a handoff in the void. I think it will be a two-part exchange. First the money and then the tech. You have to go back into the belly of the beast, Captain. You'll need to spy over Princess Islia's system again. We have to learn more. All right, well, shouldn't we take this to the Kadar High Prince? There isn't enough here. I can see it, but it is my word against don't even have a traitor's name in writing. And they've done a great job of smearing my name and my mental faculties up to this point. No, we need more. 
You have to go back into the field, Captain. We tried now. We might be able to get a few low-level officers. All right. Do you think we'll be able to stop the exchange? It hasn't happened yet, so there's still a chance. However, if it happens, it will need to be done in the utmost secrecy, which means very few people, even fewer ships. That will be our chance. I can't take this to anyone in the Kadar Navy. It could be agents working for Trace. This corruption has spread far, and Trace has laid the groundwork to make anything I try questionable. All of my intel is based on the work of a spy who officially went rogue. It's you or no one, Captain. We'll head back to the Princess and learn what we can. As you've warned me, the noose is tightening, so travel quickly and safely, Captain. Felix Slayer Nazi has added a mission to discover the location of the tech exchange between the KR Trader and the Steel Song. We can really view the details and accept if interested. Oh, we're certainly interested. Alright, well, let's go. Onward, Felix. Let's do it. Weapons platform leak. Back we go. Into the belly of the beast. Ta-da! Web oh, let's do this. Let's get some fuel first. Pay our crew in orbit and then do it. Hostile bounty hunter. I've got eight credit skims, so I'll use them. <laughs> of course. Hostile military patrol. No, no, no. I don't think so. Learn a new rumor. More hostile military patrols. Again, I don't think so. Mission success. 16 crew gained 120 experience. The relay was still compromised. You've yet to realize we've been listening. The Steel Song pride themselves on fighting, so don't expect anything but sloppy spy work. All credit is due to Kiwik for finding this comms relay. Without it, we'd have never picked up on this. A series of messages has come through the relay. If we didn't have our intel, they'd look unrelated and meaningless. We picked up an upcoming travel manifest for a Steel Song military cruiser. Three systems, multiple months in the void. And then a little while later, a Kadar military vessel's travel plans was bounced through the relay. It looks like a mistake. The message was garbled, and it was never bound for any Steel Song comms channels. Just a glitch in the void. Exactly. But we compared the two travel plans, and there is a fascinating overlap. They will be passing over an indie system the exact same day. No one will notice two ships loitering in an orbit over a dilapidated Indian indie holding. Then this is their big moment. Hidden in plain sight, but almost impossible to detect. Still, no scrap of hard evidence. Anything meaningful we could gather will come from the messages sent between the two ships. Whatever exchange they are having. We need to be there, even if it is a major risk. Alright, continue. So... In that case, where do we go next? Weapons platform leak. We have to go to the New Scout Chaos. Alright. New Scout. Which one is this one? We six. We six. How long does this mission have? Eight years? Oh my goodness. Well, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna upgrade our ship. Right here. Gimme. <laughs> Only because I wanna have some fun. Yeah, plasma cannons. If you do wanna cook some people, this is a thing you can do. Do I want to do that, or do I want to have this? Hmm. Cannot target small craft with it. This one is weak against small craft, and it adds, and it causes radiation damage. It's got this. Seven, level seven plasma. Here's the thing is, let's go. This fires from slot one. You can fire all your guns from slot one if you want to, which is going to be really useful against the Jaita. I'm, I'm going to grab this bad boy. It's just because it's fun. That's the only reason. <laughs> all right. And let's take a minute to look at the crew. The whole crew. Everybody. What do we have down here at the bottom? Zealot, Zealot, Zealot. Okay. And what is the 
skill that I need. Let's go look. So, commanders get discerning glance at level one. Military officers get discerning eye at level five. So if we want to add somebody new, we should probably get co commanders. Um, and we don't have, he's a military officer, talents. He doesn't, we haven't given him discerning eye. He's got it down here somewhere. I'm sure, let's see, show all talents. So he's gonna be right here, in here, right? Because he's a military officer. Let's check. Mm. Damning aim, military. It's a rank five one. Damning aim, deserving rank. Military discipline. What am I? Stoned? It's possible. Tactical edge. What the heck? Here it is, Recruiter's Eye. So that one. If he had enough experience to level up, we could give that to him. Yeah, but you really need like a couple of these. So if we take a look at him, how close is he to leveling? He's, I gotta look here, he's halfway. Oh, that's not great, it'd take a while. So what we'd have to do is replace a couple of people. Well, so we have a commander here. He's a level 10 commander and we gave him discerning glance, so he has it. He's the only commander I have right now. Yeah, it would be good to get another commander. Where can we get a commander from? Noon contacts. Okay, let's see. Commander. What? It says nobody. We've got something pressed up up here. Then filter sort by, yeah. This is permit. I don't need permits and I don't want that. Let's do by recruit. Commander recruits. Where can we get commander recruits? He's got commander recruits and it's Felix. And he's two jumps away. Two jumps, Felix. Okay. Let's go two jumps to Felix and go do that. Because I want to get one more commander. And get two, and so we can have two discerning glances. Because next episode, this is what I want to do: is is if a rumor pops up, I want to be able to use that and go recruit somewhere and try to see if we can get really high scores. Felix, okay. First of all, we gotta go to our crew. Look at our ship. We have navigation is way extra, <laughs> way extra. <laughs> so let's go get rid of a navigator. We have a bunch of them here. Let's go get rid of probably the lowest level one. Oh my goodness, we have a ton of them. One, two, three, four, and this guy. So really what I want to do is go by talents. He's got fast getaway and skip off the void. That person's got fast and skip, fast and skip, fast and skip, fast and skip. So, so we can take him, this guy, and dismiss. Sorry, Charlie. Yeah. Does he have anything that we really want to keep him for? He's got a nice initiative range. 20% chance to gain a permanent plus one stealth bonus. Quick charisma known for spinning engaging tails. Yeah, you just, you're done. So let's go back here and talk to Felix. See. Recruit a new commander as a crew. Recruit a level 14 commander. And so it's a level 14 commander. That's nice. Um. So, well, you know, hit points 107, none of that stuff really matters because I don't care about that. Commander talent, discerning glance, was used, notice a new recruit has calm trait, and a promising recruit with the highest attributes, so, Willie Dewar. So we've got a commander. Willie used his discerning glance to give this person higher traits. But even then, hers are not spectacular. So I'm really hoping 
when we go to recruit the person who posted the comment in one of my first videos they had like super high numbers here and i was just like like 30s and stuff and i'm like how the heck did you get that so for recruiting this person no now i don't know if it makes a difference if you recruit an officer instead but also you got to go to one of the planets where they're gonna where they have recruiting rumors because those also give a bonus so that's what we'll do for now we're gonna give her discerning glance and then do we have yeah let's see hmm oh here's the other thing don't show all the talents what do we have scorn number buff ship when accepting a mission chance to discover one of your contacts and traits I don't really care about that precision action nobody has that we should train for that because it purges the ship and crew of crippling effects you can quell a mutiny with this person which we shouldn't need to do but one talent of that type and one talent of this type let's do we'll do action and then let's give her the proper uniform because this is not it. There we go. Commander uniforms. Those two. They got this the epaulets there. Alright. Back to Felix's mission. Weapon platform loop. I can all know. Just about done with this episode. Just about out of time. So what we'll be able to do is both of those commanders. Oh, so we had somebody who's heard it said. Both of those commanders are going to have their discerning glance ready to go. It's a three-week cooldown, and if and when we can ever find somebody to recruit. So you're going to want to take a hard look at the first person that you try to recruit, and then if they're not up to snuff, you're going to go for the second one and have it fire there, and hope that on your second one you get what you're looking for. Somebody with just stellar statistics. Passing through the void here. Garrick Pillars. Don't forget why we are here. Yes, to make loads and loads and oodles of money. That's why we're here. We're at the new Skadalt Chaos. Alright, let's land. Get some fuel. Go back in orbit. Somebody made a level. This commander did. Willie. For using his talents. Okay, so. Cool, yeah, I want this one. Y'all gonna have those, because that's a very good one to have. Weapons platform. Back to the spying. It's all over but the spying. Hmm. Well, friends. Give me something good. Near death among the crew, I say no. No, 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 no. Buried results. It was a pirate trap. Okay, well, surrender to looting because we don't have anything to loot, which is wonderful. Hostile military patrol. Oh, some profit. Nice. Got some experience out of that. More near death among the crew. Mission success. 46k for our part. We lost five rep with unknown. Oh, well, that's strange. Okay, what's next? Four jumps to the fifth divide. And there's a roving band of pirates. Wait. Is there now? Let's go up here. We have a couple of people that are somewhat hurt, it said. I don't know what my cat thinks it's doing right now. Just being a little crazy. Heal four crew members, pay them their wages, onward. Oh, and let's just, while we're here, we're gonna jump to the dock cluster. 
Let's check rumors. Just want to periodically check rumors. Pirates, third century, ion, storm, crimson, crimson pox outbreaks almost gone. We haven't seen anything for recruiting rumors. We may have to go pirate. We may have to go pay for those, which is totally fine. You can look at who in your contact list sells rumors. Civil unrest. I'm only interested in your fuel, so. Brian's Belt, where we started this whole adventure. Alright, Felix. Land Ho. Weapons platform. Quiet meeting. By the pit, Felix, you're alive. When we heard you were in a Gestalt medical ward, I know what it must look like. It's actually the opposite. Keep your voices down. But we can actually talk here. Whatever you did, you kicked the wasp's nest hard. Because they were all over me. I could literally feel the knife in my back. I realized I'd be safer here. A Gestalt are willing to turn away unwanted visitors. Yeah, but how long can this last? It won't. But it doesn't matter. What did you get? And that is everything. This confirms that it can only be Trace. He is the only one who could sign off on this. On what? They are decommissioning their military resource orbital, the Ultra Wraith. The Triarch tech was born on the Ultra Wraith. Someone up top decided it was too old. Now they are going to let it drift into the gas giant at orbits. What madness. A station like that should be bombed into oblivion before descending. How much of the command structure must be involved in Trace's treachery? Clearly, they planned this so that the orbital will fall apart over a short period of time as it drops into the planet's atmosphere. And during that time, a few Steel Song skiffs are going to drop in and pick up some things. Very important data records that they have been accidentally left behind. And what? Kadar will abandon the Triarch technology? It seems like they will suffer a significant but unexpected delay. Steel Song will corner the market for a decade or so. If it is money Trace wants, she will make a fortune worth a quadrant. But what can we do? If we try to directly interfere, Kate, our military officers will descend on us. You will need to use the same cloak the Steel Song are relying on. The gas giant and its interference. When the Steel Song goes in, you go in. They'll come with one or two ships to avoid outright detection. Stop their operatives and deal is sunk. We gain some rep with Felix. Okay. Will the data on the Ultra Wraith be enough to build a Triarch? Probably not. I'm willing to bet Trace isn't giving everything away. In 10 years, she'll take the market back with a true Triarch. And then she'll have made double. All the commanders in the faction fleets in the United Coalition will be begging her for new weapons platform. Hmm. Alright. You'd better move quickly before Trace finds a way to remove you. Picking the right commander to go to feels like a deadly game of swallowing sword. Pick the wrong one and I'm dead before it begins. I'll work the political angle while you make them bleed on the ultra weight, Captain. Alright. Hmm. We will take the fight to the Steel Song on the Ultra Wraith. I can't stay here any longer. The Gestalt aren't going to keep me without cause. If you need any help before you go, you can find me at my residence. I will never forget this, Captain. Felix Slayer Nazi has added a mission. So we'll go see it. Let's go see Felix's mission. Right there. We'll accept it, and we have a lot of running around to do. The first one is an infinite helix, so... Felix the Slayer Nazi, Ion Storm, Civil Unrest, and Abandoned Military Orbital. Okay, well that's where we're at, so... I would say that's pretty entertaining. That was a full episode of a lot of stuff. I will see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching as always. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below as always if you want to be a part of the decisions that get made on kind of like, you know, what videos show up on the channel or what kind of challenges we do or do I knew it do another playthrough and which ship do I start with? Join my Patreon. That's where those things happen. No minimum fee, just like the best credit cards in the world. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming, everyone.